Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. I'm dealing with a very serious issue this morning. I'm dealing with the spirit of Zara. The spirit of what? Zara and the spirit of Perez. The spirit of Zara and the spirit of Perez. That's what I'm dealing with. Zara spirit and Perez spirit. In other words, I'm dealing with the spirit of shortcuts and the spirit of due process. The spirit of what? Shortcuts and the spirit of due process. That is what I'm dealing with this morning. And I'm taking these scriptures, Genesis chapter 38, and see what I want to cover. Genesis 38 from 27 to 30. Wherever my time takes me, that's where I will stop. Genesis 38, 27 to 30. Very quickly. Genesis 38, 27 to 30. And it came to pass. In the time of her travail, that behold, twins were in her womb. And it came to pass when she travailed that the one put out his hand and the midwife took and bound upon his hand a scarlet thread, saying, this came out first. How can you say such a thing? <laughs> if you're a midwife, you declare a child whose hand came out first when the body, the head, has not come out. And it came to pass as he drew back his hand. Any hand blocking your passage must be broken this morning. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I came with the spirit of vengeance this morning. I came with the spirit to declare some things that shall come to pass. So the earlier you are alive in your spirit, the better for you. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. There is going to be a withdrawal of whatever is blocking your passage. Amen. And the Bible says, and it, it, as he drew back his hand, that behold, his brother came out. And she said... How hast thou broken forth? Look at somebody and said, I am unstoppable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm dealing with a serious thing this morning. The spirit of unstoppability, no matter what happens. Because I'm breaking forth. Look at somebody and say, I'm breaking forth. And it shall be said, how did you? How? Somebody say, How? How manage? We didn't expect that, but how manage? We never thought you would ever get married, but how manage? How did you get this thing that you, how did you build a house? Can I hear somebody shout, how? God is about to spring a surprise. He said, how, do, how has thou broken forth? This bridge be upon thee. Why are you messing up my career? Come on, look at somebody and say, watch out. I will disgrace them. Say, watch out. My testimony will disgrace them. Therefore, his name was called Fares. And afterward came out his brother that had the scarlet thread upon his hand and his name was called Zara. Romans 9, 16. Romans 9, 16. 
So then, it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God that showeth what? Mercy. 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 Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11. Then we talk a few things and close. In Nikura, I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happened to them all. And I saw under the sun and that there is something that goes on. That it is not the one that began that is declared the winner. It is the one that break the tape. And I'm about to break the tape. I'm about to cut the tape. Somebody holler hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, there is something very, very serious here uh, that I need you to understand. Judah, when, when, when Jacob was about to die, he declared that the scepter shall come from Judah. That's what he declared. That the scepter shall come from Judah. And that was that prophecy that provoked the enemy. I said to you, whenever prophecy comes out, something else will come out. And guess what? Judah messed up. Ah! God help me. Judah messed up. Judah didn't want to mess up, but he messed up. If you read that chapter carefully, you find that Judah went somewhere and he got involved with a woman. And before we know it, he had a baby and had one, and had two, and had three. The man that the scepter shall come out from. And, and, and something led to another. I mean, the sons began to grow. He had three sons, and they began to grow. And Judah decided. And this first son took a wife. And the Bible said the first son was very wicked. How can a man with the oil to produce a king produce a son who was so wicked? And, and, and the son was so wicked to the point that God took note and slew him. And he died. And, 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 uh, and Judah said to, his second, to the wife of the second son, to the second son, said, please, I, my son, my first son, every man's glory is the first son. Say, my first son is dead. Uh, second son, please, take, take your brother's wife. And, uh, and let there be a seed from your first brother, from your elder brother. And the second son was also wicked. When he went into the woman to sleep with the woman, when it was time for him to ejaculate, he spilled it on the ground. And God also got angry and killed him. Hey! Judah said, this wife, you brought evil to this family. Now he's left with one son. Don't forget, the scepter shall come from Judah. What is happening to this man with this great glory, with the man, the man with a mandate to produce a king? What's happening to him? And something led to another. He now said to the woman, you know what? Go to your father's house and stay there. And when my younger son, the last one, when he grows up, you know, um, We'll bring you back. And the woman left. Judah deceived her to go. Because if you were to be the one, you probably would do the same thing. If my son, the first one, dies on account of this woman, second one dies on account of this woman, I'm not ready to risk the, the, the last son. So when the woman discovered that Judah had deceived her, she began to plan strategy. Every of this is as a result of the mandate on Judah. Conspiracy. And began to plan against, and heard that Judah was going to share, going to do some things, and the woman disguised herself. It's like Judah had the ministry of climbing women. Because I can't understand a man with such a mandate that will not be careful of himself. But it's like there was something that was pushing him. So the woman disguised herself to be a harlot. Why would a man with such mandate be looking for a harlot? As Judah was passing by, he looked and saw a woman and considered her to be a harlot and didn't know it was the daughter-in-law. 
and they get, got inside and slept with the woman. Unfortunately, they didn't have enough money. We said to the woman, I'm going to bring you something. The woman said, I don't know you, you know. So you got to, how can this man do this and didn't recognize his daughter-in-law? It is the working of the wicked one. Lift up your hand and pray with me and say, every device, every manipulation of witchcraft spirit against prophecy over my life shattered by fire. There is a device that is trying to make the prophecy not to come to pass. That's what I mean. I want you to get that. If that is all you can get this morning, you go home with that. There is a device. There is a conspiracy. Whenever a release, a word is released towards you, there is something the enemy wants to do so that you will not be in the position for that to happen. And, and Judah slept with the daughter-in-law. Those days, it's an abomination. The woman said, what will you give to me? Judah handed over his staff and said, I will bring you something. When I bring you that in, take this as a pledge. The woman said, no problem. The woman took the staff and Judah left and later on took what he wanted to give to the woman, sent to his friend, one of his friends from Adulam and that one went, they looked everywhere. They said there was no halot in that place. Oh, oh, my staff. The staff of Judah. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Eilakaya. So she, she, he, he decided to make more inquiries. While he was making inquiries, the news came and said, your daughter-in-law is pregnant. Ah! Abomination. My daughter-in-law. Pregnant. He said, bring her. The Lord said she should be burnt. They brought her. The woman said, I'm sorry. Um... The man that owns this staff pregnanted me. Ladies and gentlemen, that was where the trouble started. Judah was humbled. I want to tell you something here. This was the reason why the scepter departed from Judah until the tenth generation. That was why Saul a Benjamite became the first king. Are you listening to me? The, it was, the scepter was to come from Judah. And there was a manipulation by wicked authority. Oh God, I pray for you this morning. Whatever we derail you, not to be in the position where the prophecy was given to you. May that thing not succeed. Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This week, this week is your week of testimony. Unlimited testimony. Somebody shout and receive it. Ladies and gentlemen, the, a Benjamite became a king. Until, when you study the scriptures, because that's not my message, when you study the scriptures, it was in the 10th generation that David became a king. Because David came from that lineage. That was what happened. What happened was the enemy wanted to truncate the process. Now, look at what happened. When the woman... They discovered they can't stone the woman anymore. Judah has committed abomination because it is not allowed. Committed incest. He didn't do it with his clear eye. How can you sleep with a woman? They didn't recognize the woman. But, but that's it's a story for another day. 
And something happened. The woman had twins. Oh. This woman that couldn't carry pregnancy in the first child, couldn't carry the second, now had twins by the father-in-law. And the time to deliver came. Ladies and gentlemen, when the time to deliver came, the children began to struggle. They began to do what? Struggle. Let's go back to our scripture. 38 of Genesis. 38 of Genesis. Nisulu <laughs> Korea, verse 27. And it came to pass in the time of her travel that behold, twins were in her womb. And it came to pass when she traveled that the one put out his hand and the midwife took and bound upon his hand a circlet thread saying, this came out first. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if she's a midwife, she should have waited. Are you aware there are conspiracy in the spirit to declare somebody first before you? Yes, are you aware there is a conspiracy in the spirit to position somebody to close the road so that you will not pass? Are you aware there is a conspiracy around us for people to declare you, to declare somebody a winner when they know that you are the winner, to take your position from you? And that is exactly what happened here. Because if she's a midwife, she should know. My wife, my wife is a midwife. I, I used to call her, she was a nurse. She said, no, once a nurse, you're a nurse. And that's the truth. How can you declare somebody that who brought the hand, didn't bring the head? Are, are you here with me? And they declared him winner. And in the process of time, it, 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 in, in other words, th there was a process going on. There was a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, life is about fight. You must fight. Do not allow anything to stop you. Even when your hand blocks the passage, break the hand. If your head comes to the passage, crush the head. You are unstoppable. This child wanted a shortcut to come first. That is the spirit of Zara. The spirit of Zara. And in the process, his brother fought. And when the brother fought, the brother overthrew in the womb and came forth. The midwife said, no, 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 no. You have messed up my career. Hey, you will mess up the career of witchcraft this year. You say, how, how did you, how did you break forth? You're supposed not to be the first. It was not meant for you. We have already given a verdict on you. Whatever verdict that has been given on you, I reverse it this morning. Ah, uh, there is power on this altar. Hanikuseya. He said, we have given a verdict already. How did you overthrow the verdict? We have allocated this position to someone else. Can I hear somebody say, Nala? Can they allocate what belongs to you to someone else? When the Lord was saying to us this year, you are unstoppable. That means something is going to happen. And they will allocate what belongs to you to someone. If you fold your hand, they will take it. Pharaoh said, no, I will not fold my hand. The midwife said, no, we have decided. We have decided. In fact, your brother is carrying the circle. It's not who is carrying it. It's not him that will it. It's not him that run it. It's not him who began. It's not him who built the first house that succeed. It is God. Somebody say, I hear.